How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Now today we've got something a little bit special for you. It's some bonus content for the week. It's a massive compilation of some of the scariest video clips going round. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Is it possible to conjure up ghosts simply with our minds? That was the question asked by a group of individuals from the Toronto Society of Psychical Research in the early 1970s. None of the members of the group were gifted with any supposed psychic or spiritual powers. Still, they were curious to see if they could conjure up a ghost by simply using their collective imagination and visualization. Lead researcher Dr. A.R. George Owen believed that ghosts were merely an illusion created by the mind, if the mind truly believed it to be so. To test Dr. Owen's theory, the group created a fictitious spirit named Philip. Philip was given a complete biography by the group, from his birth to his unfortunate death by suicide at the age of 30. The spirit was born in the 1620s in England and was a knighted member of the military. One day he met and fell in love with a gypsy girl beginning an affair with her. His wife discovered the affair and burned the girl at the stake. As a result, Philip ended his life driven to death by sorrow. For the experiment, the group was seated around a table discussing Philip as well as visualizing him and his life. For months, absolutely nothing occurred, though some group members swear that they could feel another presence among them. After a few months, the group decided to switch up the experiment by incorporating a more traditional seance scene dimming the lights around them and placing their hands on a table. In doing so, they hoped that Philip would speak to them by either knocking on or rotating the table. Only when they changed the experiment up did they finally find some success. They asked Philip questions about his life and the supposed spirit began to interact with the group. There was rapping on and vibrations of the table as well as unexplained echoes and sudden gusts of air felt by the group. At one point, the table the group was sitting at levitated and moved across the room of its own accord. The experiment began to be filmed and at one point there was a live taping of the group done in front of an audience of 50 people. A video on YouTube gives glimpses into the experiment, including snippets of the actual paranormal activity. In the video uploaded by History vs Hollywood on YouTube, viewers can see the group seated around the table. Hands out, asking Philip questions. Margot. Margo. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Say it again. Did you love Margo? At one point, a rapping sound can be heard in response to a question. Did you like Dorothea? <laughs> Following this, the table shakes and seems to lift off the ground. The video cuts to another clip with the group standing up with their hands on the table, singing. Suddenly, the table completely tilts to the left, falling on its side. Dr. Owen's wife, Iris Owen, explains that the group was very surprised when they first heard the knocking. The video then cuts to an interview with psychologist Dr. Joel Witten, who theorizes that the paranormal occurrences happen due to the collective belief and concentrated energy of the group. The group is involved in a, a joint feeling of mutuality. Each member almost intuitively senses the other person and their feelings. Is it some type of concentration of energy? The Philip experiment was met with both awe and criticism in its day. The main criticism lay in the fact that the experiment didn't have any control factors, as usually found in scientific experiments. Additionally, the scientific community remains hesitant to call seances trustworthy. There have been other groups who have tried to replicate the experiment, though usually to no avail. The Philip experiment may be just one mystery left unsolved. In April 2016, a 7.3 magnitude earthquake hit Fukuoka, a city located in northern Kyushu Island, Japan. 
While the earthquake caused plenty of damage itself, it was what happened shortly after that left many residents scratching their heads. 90 miles from the epicenter of the earthquake appeared a thick foam that covered the streets. Residents walked and drove over the foam but had no idea where it emerged from. In some places, the mysterious foam was knee high, making it hard to wade through. Other residents refused to leave their houses in fear of what the foam could be. Local first responders and authority figures tried to theorize where exactly the foam came from. Some believe the foam could have been derived from a busted pipe under the streets, though no cracks could be found in the streets which the foam could have leaked through. Others thought the foam could be from a firefighter's hose, though no foam was found in the hoses either, and the sheer size and breadth of which the foam covered made no sense either. Still today, the foam remains a complete mystery with no explanation given. What do you think this foam could be? Love to get your thoughts on this strange mystery in the comments section below. To this day, 80% of the ocean remains unexplored by mankind. This has left plenty of room for speculations and theories as to what mysteries are in the deep blue, just waiting to be discovered. One of these mysteries became known as the Baltic Sea Anomaly. In 2011, the Swedish diving team named Ocean X came across an abnormal sonar image, leading to a baffling discovery, a sunken object that strikingly resembled a craft of some kind. The object quickly became known as the Baltic Sea Anomaly, as it was discovered in the Baltic Sea between Sweden and Finland. The diving team described the object as having what looked to be man-made formations, including ramps and stairways. Scientists quickly began to come up with ideas to explain the strange object, including the idea that it was a geological formation created over thousands of years, possibly since the Ice Age. Samples taken from the object and examined by scientists concluded that the structure is made mostly of granites, gneisses and sandstone. The object's discovery led to some controversy, as the tabloids began to create sci-fi fantasies of what the object could be. These fantasies included everything from being a flying saucer to the Millennium Falcon. Scientists around the world were adamant that this was nothing more than a simple rock formation blown out of proportion. The Ocean X diving team also eventually came under fire, as they offered to take wealthy tourists down to the sea floor to see the object for themselves. The team also claimed that they were never able to capture a good photo of the object due to technical difficulties. Many believe the group have exaggerated what the anomaly really looks like in order to gain notoriety. Could this be the case? Or has the mystery object blended in just well enough to escape deeper discovery? Over the years, there have been countless supposed alien sightings, with one of the most prominent occurring in early 1800s Japan. Whether it's simply a Japanese legend or a real recorded experience remains up for debate to this day. The event took place in 1803 in the Hitachi province of eastern Japan. A group of fishermen on the region's coast noticed a large ship drifting alone in the waters. Curious, the group towed the boat to shore to inspect it. The large boat resembled a wooden rice pit, with the upper half of the ship constructed of rosewood and the lower half of brazen plates. The strange ship was said to have windows made of crystal lined by an unknown resin. The fishermen decided to look inside the ship, where they saw inscriptions written in an unknown language. Suddenly, they came across a peculiar figure, a beautiful woman somewhere between the ages of 18 and 20, with very pale pinkish skin, striking red hair. She was donning clothes that were unrecognizable to the group of Japanese fishermen. Furthermore, she spoke a language the group couldn't understand, and held a box in her hand that she wouldn't let others go near. The villagers began to speculate as to who this woman could be, with one villager theorizing that the woman was a prominent figure in her homeland, wherever that may have been. He further speculated that she was cast away from her homeland after engaging in adultery, and inside the box that she so desperately protected was the head of her deceased lover. The other villagers became terrified and decided to send the woman back to her boat, 
so she could drift away. This same story was recounted in three different texts over the years, with each text following the same themes of a strange boat that looked nothing like regular boats of the period, as well as a beautiful woman holding a mysterious box close to her. Plenty of Japanese and international researchers have tried to find an explanation for this story. Some believe that the drawings that accompanied the story portrayed what a typical Russian woman might have looked like at the time, including the description of her hair and skin. Still, plenty of other individuals, including ufologists, believe the incident was an encounter with an alien species, and the boat was an unidentified craft of some kind. However, many Japanese individuals believe this story is simply a myth, created in olden times to add to Japanese folklore. One million dollars to demonstrate some paranormal activity. Talk about a good deal. While this isn't a mystery as such, it's well worth taking a look at. The one million dollar paranormal challenge was initiated by the James Randi Educational Foundation in 1964 to any applicant who could perform paranormal or supernatural activity beyond a reasonable doubt. Over 1,000 people applied and every single one failed. James Randi, a prominent stage magician, believed that there was absolutely nothing magical about magic. It was simply a well-planned and put-together illusion. Upon hearing this claim, a parapsychologist challenged him to put money up against any potential paranormal challenger. Randi initially agreed to give out a $1,000 prize, but as the challenge grew in popularity, other organizations and individuals decided to join in on the fun raising funds up to one million US dollars. Until the challenge's discontinuation in 2015, applicants attempted to demonstrate many different kinds of skills and abilities, including medical dowsing, mediumship, and the use of performance-enhancing bracelets. One prominent psychic, Sylvia Brown, was challenged live on air by famous broadcaster and journalist Larry King to take the test. Brown accepted. On September 3rd, 2001, Brown and Randy appeared on Larry King Live once more, but Brown refused to take the test. Afterwards, Randy posted a timer on his website that recorded the number of days and weeks that had passed since Brown accepted the test but failed to follow through. A martial arts group based in Bali, Indonesia, known as Yellow Bamboo, claimed one of their members, Pak Nyoman Serengan, can knock down approaching attackers from a distance using only a piece of yellow bamboo. Sketchy, low-resolution videos were posted to the group's website showing the alleged abilities. Here's some footage of the group's practices uploaded to YouTube by IET4C0S. Participants run at a practitioner who shouts and pushes them to the ground, allegedly by some sort of invisible force. Volunteers working with the James Randi Educational Foundation agreed to travel to Bali and conduct initial testing on these abilities. However, the Yellow Bamboo group began making excuses as to why they couldn't participate. Eventually, James Randi called the whole experiment off. Out of the hundreds of applicants applying for the fun, none of the experiments were successful. Though some critics disagreed with the sincerity of Randi's challenge, as the measurements of proving something was real without a doubt is hard to define. Still, the challenge was popular and remains a hot topic of conversation for paranormal fans around the world. Tina Resch's story seems too bizarre to be true, though sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. Tina's story starts in October of 1969. Just a few months after she was born, her mother brought her to the hospital and left her there, abandoning her. She was therein adopted by Joan and John Resch, who were physically abusive to her during her childhood. When she was 14, Tina watched the horror film The Poltergeist, and the alleged paranormal activity that would follow her for the rest of her life began. Shortly after watching the film, strange events started happening when Tina was near. These included flying objects around the house and things falling down from the walls. Parapsychologist William Roll decided to investigate the case and stayed in the Resch's house. 
Roll claimed that there were indeed telekinesis events in the house, but never when Roll was actually looking at the objects in question. Reporter Mike Harden and photographer Fred Shannon were also given access to the Resch household, but like Roll, didn't see any paranormal activity until they looked away. Shannon attempted to take a picture with his camera while looking in a different direction and managed to capture one photo of the house telephone flying across Tina's lap. Still, many speculated that Tina was able to manipulate the objects while others were looking away, probably because she was a young girl who craved attention. Subsequently, a video camera caught Tina knocking over a table lamp and screaming as if it happened in front of her, confirming many individuals' doubts about the paranormal activity. However, Tina Resch's story only gets stranger. As an adult, Tina was married and divorced twice and had one child. At age three, Tina's child died. Both Tina and her then boyfriend were arrested and charged for murder though Tina wasn't present when her daughter died. Still, Tina received a life sentence plus 20 years and remains in prison to this day. Tina didn't mention telekinetic activity during her trial, though perhaps such a tragic finale to such a bizarre life is no big surprise. Eerie screaming in the dead of night. It's a situation most of us have nightmares about at one point or another but never really expect to actually experience in real life. For one Reddit user in Switzerland, Stix Zardinia, this terrifying situation became a reality during a stroll in the dark one unlucky evening. In the video, we see the ground where the camera operator is walking, a flashlight illuminating the path. A couple of seconds into the clip, we can already hear ear-piercing screams in the distance. The sounds continue to shriek as the camera operator walks forward. The cameraman lifts the camera up where we can see the continued dark wooded path. Shortly after, the clip ends and the screams fade away and stop. The Reddit user included a disclaimer with the upload of the video, saying that the screams couldn't be from foxes, as the surrounding forest is allegedly fox-free. Still, most other Reddit users believe that the screams were that of animals, including the possibility of birds, coyotes, or bobcats. Some users noted that the way the camera operator walks casually suggests it probably wasn't the scream of children or else he would have had a greater sense of urgency in his movements. Regardless, this video remains hotly debated and a potentially true nightmare come to life. For most, a home means shelter and rest from the outside world, a place where we can fully relax from our pending responsibilities. This is not the case for YouTuber Sabia L, an apartment renter in the Netherlands. Her home recently became a place where relaxing has become downright impossible. Instead, all she feels is terror. The first video the YouTuber shared to the site shows several instances of possible paranormal activity. In the clip, Sabia L shows us her kitchen before moving to her living room. Suddenly, there's a banging sound and the YouTuber pans the camera up. We can see the ceiling lamp eerily swinging back and forth all on its own. Soon after, the kitchen lights begin to flicker on and off. The YouTuber slowly walks back into the kitchen, and we can now see that all the cupboards and drawer doors have been opened. Oh 
She then leaves the kitchen, walking back towards the living room. There's another banging sound from the kitchen and she whips the camera around. This is where something truly eerie is caught on camera. Take a look. <laughs> if we take another look, you can see a terrifying black shadow peeking out from behind the kitchen entrance. In the second video, we're back in the YouTuber's living room. For the first 30 seconds or so, nothing out of the ordinary happens. Until suddenly, the ceiling light begins to swing. Thirty seconds after this, the curtains in the living room begin to move all on their own. Moments later, the YouTuber turns the camera to the kitchen. Watch what happens. As you can see, a bottle is suddenly thrown into the living room. The uploader walks straight into the kitchen, but there's no one there. She walks around making sure the doors to the apartment are locked, proving no one could have snuck in or out during the clip. The videos have been viewed by thousands of people, causing a stir in the paranormal community. Many viewers believe in the authenticity of the videos, hoping that the YouTuber is finding a way to deal with the paranormal presences, or even encouraging her to move into a new home. A common suggestion by many has been that the apartment get blessed by a holy person such as a priest. Whatever the YouTuber decides to do, hopefully she does so quickly, before things get much more sinister. Sometimes getting a bad haircut can be scary in and of itself, but what about when alleged paranormal activity also gets involved during the experience? That's exactly what happened in one barber shop as uploaded by GQ Cuts on YouTube. The video begins with a brief explanation that the barber shop recently had security cameras installed inside. We then see footage from the security camera of the barber shop during the day. One barber cuts the hair of a woman, while another worker stands by the desk and another customer waits nearby. Nothing seems amiss at first, until about 30 seconds later. On the right side of the video, we can see something odd taking place. Take a look. As you can see, a blue cloak begins to slowly lift up, seemingly by itself. It continues to rise and the customer behind the desk suddenly jolts up in fear, quickly walking away from the desk. The employees ask him what's wrong and the customer explains that the cloak just moved. The employees disregard it, but the customer continues to claim it happened. Now while all this is going on, something else happens in the background that falls in the category of inexplicable. Have a look. If we play it back, we can see a mannequin head resting on a shelf. It starts to turn and face the customer. The customer then leaves and the clip ends shortly after. There are some characteristics of the video that have made some viewers suspicious that it's all just a hoax, such as the barber's grin towards the security camera at the very end of the video. Some believe the video could just be a prank pulled to raise publicity for the barbershop, while others think this is paranormal activity caught right in action. But what do you think's going on here? 
Let us know in the comment section below. Spending time with friends usually means having good times and forming fun memories together. But what about when those times go from fun to downright horrifying? That may have been what occurred to one group of friends when spotting a creepy figure in the distance. This eerie clip was sent to us by one of our viewers, Bianca. Viewers see a group of friends hanging outside under blankets, chatting with one another. <laughs> one of the friends pulls out his iPhone and checks the weather, discussing the temperature. This goes on for another minute or so, until the camera operator moves the camera around, where viewers can see a house in the distance. Watch what they caught on camera. Viewers can see two large yellow eyes peeking out from the doorway of the home. The eyes look like they're part of a larger yellow brownish head. The camera operator turns the camera back in a panic and the video suddenly ends. The large eyes and peculiar shape of the figure certainly resemble an alien-like creature. The figure's grilling stare is also particularly haunting, almost as if it's stalking the boys. So is this an intruder spying on the boys, or something a little more mysterious? Let us know your thoughts down below. It would seem an apparent haunting can happen at any time and anywhere. Popular YouTubers Mighty Car Mods have become one of the biggest sources of debate for paranormal fans recently, thanks to various sightings in their car workshop. In the first of four clips with potential paranormal activity, we see two men sitting in a car hooked up to a computer to monitor system stats. Here's one of the noises, that's it, done, let's go home. They chat casually about the results when suddenly something very strange can be seen outside of the driver's window. Take a look. It is so far made 22 kilowatts. If we take another look, a nearly transparent white figure appears for a few moments before fading away. It is so far made 22 kilowatts. Upon closer inspection, it seems the figure has the face of a ghostly woman. So far made In the second video, the YouTubers are working on a car engine. Keep an eye on the background. When you put a lot of energy into something, we actually love it. Like this car is actually freaking. As we can see, an engine crane begins to move very slowly, seemingly all on its own. We actually love it. Like this car is actually freaking. It creeps to the side before stopping for a moment, starting again until stopping a few seconds later. So we can fix it. It's worth saying as well that this issue that we have is the same thing that would happen if you actually didn't have any oil. The third clip finds the two men standing next to a car talking to the camera. All of a sudden, a large wooden block in the background slides forwards and falls to the ground. It's going to be excellent. So, let's get to work people. It's going to be One of the men freaks out asking the alleged paranormal presence, "What do you want and why?" Excellent. So, let's get to work people. It's going to be What do you want? Is going on? What do you want from us? Seriously? The fourth video finds the same two men standing near a car and talking, with another man in the background leaning over the engine. In the top left of the video, we can see a box sitting on a mezzanine. It slowly inches forward until it completely falls off and topples to the ground. was spinning. It's getting oil, but we've actually got to make it run. One of the hosts states, "That was weird." We've actually got to make it run. That was weird. Uh, we've actually got to make it run properly and that's why Dave's here. The debate on these videos remains hot with many viewers. Some believe that some of the activities can be explained via a string or a person hidden off camera, manipulating the moving objects. Others think something more mysterious is afoot. For instance, some believe that the engine crane is way too heavy to be moved by a simple string. The issue that we have is the same thing that would happen if you actually didn't have... But what do you think? Are these car shop owners having a bit of fun, or is their shop genuinely haunted? It is so far made 22 kilowatts.
Slaptown viewer Mega Squirrel 64 Gamer sent in a video that captured something completely spine chilling right next to his mother in their living room. In the provided video, there's an explanation by the narrator that a ghost was caught on live camera. The footage was captured via their doorbell camera as they received a package. The video cuts to the footage in question, where we can see a woman, the uploader's mother, sitting on a couch. Our viewer claims they have no idea who the spooky figure is sitting right next to her. You guys will see this weird looking figure on the right. The figure seems to have a greyish face and is wearing a dark robe. The video then cuts to a shot from further away, where we see the viewer's father opening the front door with his mother, and the creepy figure is sitting in the background. Now as you can see, when he moved, it was still right there. The uploader further explains that his sister was in the kitchen and he was upstairs. So there's no way to explain the figure as being a family member in disguise. I was upstairs and my dad was doing a package. Who was that? The clip is played once again in slow motion and with a close up on the unknown entity before the video ends. I really cannot tell. The fact that the spooky figure is sitting so close to the narrator's mother makes this video both extra bizarre and frightening all the same. One viewer brought up the possibility of the figure actually being a demon hiding under a robe. Others thought perhaps it's a mannequin or a pile of clothing that just happens to look spooky. Give this clip another view and judge for yourself. Going hunting is a popular hobby for many individuals around the world. For YouTuber Tim Wells Bow Hunter, his hunting trip took a mysterious turn when he spotted something in the sky that couldn't be explained as just another animal. The video begins with the YouTuber broadcasting his hunting trip with his friend. So I'm in New Mexico and I'm filming with my buddy Kay. The host states that they're hunting near Area 51 in Nevada, a facility in the US well known for being home to hush hush experiments and operations as overseen by the US government. Just when they're about to wrap up their hunting session, they notice something strange in the sky. There it was. Best I could tell, it was nearly a mile out. The YouTuber zooms in on the object, which looks to be a small electronic device zipping through the air. The, wind. Glistening in the, sun. the object moves very quickly against the wind, and the narrator suggests that it could be made of aluminium. Kind of looked like it was made of aluminum, but it then disappears from sight, leaving the hunters dumbfounded by what they just saw. What is that? I don't know what it is. I have no idea what that is. The YouTuber suggested that it could be some type of UFO, which many believe are common in Area 51 and its surrounding locations, based off numerous sightings from other people. There were many other suggestions from other viewers, including the possibility of it being a balloon, a bird, or some type of humanoid. However, remember that it was flying against the wind, so that would rule out any kind of balloon. Many viewers were impressed with the quality of the video, as compared to many other similar UFO sightings that are often blurry or shaky. So could this really be some kind of craft being tested in Area 51? Love to get your take on this in the comment section below. And moving fast against the wind. YouTuber Stephanie Almaga claims to be able to see and hear dead people. In this video, she records some of the bizarre happenings that regularly occur in her home. She films her smoke detector beeping and explains that it sometimes goes off despite having no batteries. Nothing. Oh, did you hear that beep? That was pretty loud that time. Nobody behind my door. See, this is the smoke alarm that I'm talking about. There's one right there. But they do it all through the house and they all do it and not one of them have batteries in them. You can see because there's not even a red light. Even an electrician was unable to find a reason for the unexplained sounds that it makes. Stephanie believes that the beeping indicates that a spirit may be nearby. Battery. 
but it'll do that beep, and I know when it's doing it, I've got ghosts or something going on. Suddenly, the TV in the living room turns on. No. Okay. Do you hear that? My TV just came on. Oh, and the alarm just went off again. A Mickey Mouse cartoon can be seen playing, creating an eerie vibe. Just came on. Holy crap. Stephanie asks the ghost to give her a sign if it was them that turned on the TV. I'm going to reach down and turn it off. If that was a ghost, give me another sign. Anything. Suddenly, a light on the other side of the room mysteriously switches on. She crosses the room to show the location of the light switch, pointing out that if anyone had been standing there, they would have easily have been spotted by the camera. There is nobody in this house. Look, the lights are right there. If anybody... Then, just after she switches the light off, the camera captures something truly terrifying. Take a look. I'm going to turn it off. It was even up. Look, if anybody... Holy fuck! What the Oh my god! If you slow it down, a creepy pale face in the corner of the adjacent room can be seen. Stephanie screams in terror and quickly leaves the area. However, she soon gathers the courage to return, only to discover that the room is now empty. I am not losing my mind. What the hell? There is nobody in here, look. There is nobody anywhere. While viewers seem skeptical that the beeping smoke detector could be caused by spiritual activity, no one's been able to explain the other aspects of this video. How did the TV and lights turn on all by themselves? And who was the creepy figure lurking in the darkened room? If Stephanie really can see dead people, maybe it's time she thought about moving to a new house. Oh, I'm gonna turn it off. It was even a, look, if anybody, holy fuck, what the sh oh my God. Often, people think that ghost videos are only reserved for the dark recesses of YouTube and other social media platforms. However, when a reputable source like Asianet Suvana News shares a ghost video, even the most hardened skeptics start to pay attention. The clip shows a group of men standing at a gas station. They're all looking towards the camera, completely oblivious to anything that's happening behind them. Suddenly, something bizarre happens. Take a look. As you can see, a ghostly figure floats past. It moves quickly behind the group of men before flying upward and disappearing into the sky. The figure's shape resembles a human figure with pieces of cloth or wisps of smoke trailing behind them. Some viewers have suggested that it reminds them of a witch flying by on a broomstick. However, in this case, the figure is transparent, making it impossible to confirm any definite details. So what could this eerie shape be? A ghost, a witch, or something else entirely? Take another look at the footage and judge for yourself. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's scarier, the normal or the paranormal. In this TikTok video from Blissfully Ironic, either explanation could be just as terrifying. The TikToker begins recording soon after he hears something in the backyard. At first, he suspects that it might be his neighbor, so he grabs a flashlight and peeks out the window. What is it? Don't I hear that? Unable to see anything unusual, he decides to open the back door and bravely steps out into the yard to take a look around. He pans the flashlight across the fence line. Then, just as it reaches the edge of a small shed, he spots the potential culprit. Take a look. Upon review, you can see a dark figure that quickly disappears into the shadows. 
Some viewers have suggested that it could be yet another sighting of a mysterious shadow person. However, others think it's more likely to have been a human dressed in a black face mask and dark clothing, which could suggest someone was casing the joint looking to break in. If you were confronted by an eerie figure in your backyard, which would you prefer? Some sort of supernatural entity or a human prowler with unknown intentions? In the future, this TikToker may want to think about installing some well-placed security cameras. Popular YouTubers, the Sidemen, regularly go to interesting locations to record their content. In this video, they gather at an abandoned prison to play a creepy game of hide and seek. The hiders head into the prison wearing the same style of orange jumpsuits typically associated with prisoners. It's the middle of the day, so they begin the game by searching for the darkest corners of the facility in which to hide. At one point, two of the crew head for the basement. As they enter, an eagle-eyed redditor by the name of Rob Impulse has noticed something rather creepy. It seems that the sidemen might not have been the only ones in the prison that day. Take a look. I'm gonna get the jump scare of my life. Oh, I don't here. want to do this. I don't want to. Look at all this. the moths. At first, it can be very difficult to see, as the basement is made up of a series of dark, interconnected hallways. However, if you watch closely, you may be able to spot an unexplained figure lurking in the background. I'm gonna get the jump scare of my life. Oh, I don't here. want to do this. I don't want to. Look at all the moths. If you brighten the footage, it suddenly becomes apparent that the mysterious figure is also dressed in an orange jumpsuit, similar to the ones the players are already wearing. However, according to the video, only two crew members ventured into the basement. The sidemen clearly don't seem to notice the strange figure and continue their game. One of you is in here, I can feel it! Once the keen-eyed viewer pointed out the chilling figure, the speculation in the comments section began. Some suggested that it was probably just another member of the crew hiding in the darkness. However, others thought that the camera might have inadvertently captured the spirit of a former inmate. Have another look and judge for yourself. I'm gonna get the jump scare of my life. Oh, I don't here. want to do this. I don't want look to do this. Look at all the moths. Home security cameras are becoming an ever more frequent source of creepy footage. In this video, TikToker Miss Haley Michelle has spotted something strange that was captured by her front door camera. The motion sensor seems to have been triggered as two cars heading in opposite directions pass by the front of the house. All right, so here's the video again. I just wanted you guys to get a better idea of it and let me know what you think. At least that's what it looks like at first glance. However, if you zoom in and slow the footage down, you can see what the camera has actually captured is something else entirely. Take a look. It turns out that there's actually only one car. The uploader mentions that at first they thought the second line could have been a reflection. At first it appears to be a car and a light moving in opposite direction. We thought it was a reflection until we zoomed in. That was until they noticed that it actually appeared to have legs. We see the car go by and then we see the light go in the opposite direction. The light turns into an orb which turns into legs is what I'm seeing. Do you see this too? The close-up shows what looks like an orb of light moving through the air at the same height and speed as the headlights of the other car. After it passes the car, the light gradually fades and seems to morph into a pair of human legs. The legs continue walking down the street until disappearing off screen. Orbs are often thought to be common manifestations for spiritual energy. However, this may be the first time that someone's ever captured footage of an orb morphing into a partial human figure. Does this footage prove that orbs are indeed supernatural in nature? Or could there be some other explanation for this strange footage? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. All right, so here's the video again. I just wanted you guys to get a better idea of it and let me know what you think.
These days, whenever anyone hears a strange noise in their home, their first instinct seems to be to go and grab their phone and start recording. Sometimes the camera holder ends up with a terrifying video, like this one uploaded to TikTok by I Am The Hunter. The two people are clearly spooked when they hear strange noises that seem to be coming from the closet. Seriously? No one. They appear to be the only ones in the house and seem to have no idea who or what could be causing the sounds. They cautiously approach the closet, calling out to whatever's inside. However, when they finally swing the door open, the space is empty. The camera holder then quickly turns around to continue searching the house for the source of the sound. As they do, they manage to inadvertently record the potential culprit. Take a look. Upon review, a dark figure on the other side of the living room can be seen. It's only visible for a second and if you're not paying attention, then chances are you'll miss it. Here it is again in slow motion. What do you think this eerie figure could be? A human intruder? Or perhaps even a ghost or shadow person? Let me know your take on this in the comments section below. TikTok account Creepy Pesto regularly shares scary videos with no accompanying explanations. This piece of terrifying footage may just haunt your nightmares. The clip shows a young girl at a playground with her father. She points to something behind him, motioning for him to turn around. Immediately, we see what has caught her eye. Take a look. As you can see, there's a ghoulish child lurking mere inches away from her father. She has ashen grey skin, her dark sunken eyes and sinister smile seem to suggest her likely malevolent intentions. Clearly spooked by what he's just witnessed, the father drops the camera. But if you watch the clip in slow motion, it seems to reveal that the ghoulish girl actually starts to vanish. Some viewers have suggested that it could simply be an ordinary girl wearing creepy makeup or even a mask. However, this doesn't explain how she manages to disappear in the final seconds of the footage. This mysterious vanishing act could suggest that the man and his daughter were actually confronted by some sort of terrifying ghost. Generally, going to the local store is a rather mundane task. However, not so for this man, who found himself the unwitting star of a very mysterious video. Let's take a look. The footage, which appears to have been taken from a security camera, shows the man standing in an aisle. He takes a product off the shelf and begins examining it. Suddenly, a box from the shelf behind him floats forward, appearing to hover in mid-air. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what is that? A few seconds later, another box flies off the rack in front of the man and onto the floor. Surprised, the man bends down to pick it up just as the floating object also falls to the floor. Startled voices, presumably those of employees watching the footage, can be heard in the background, with one suggesting that it could be the work of a poltergeist. The way the first box appears to slide off the shelf and hang in mid-air without any support certainly seems within the realm of the supernatural. And with no other people standing nearby, it seems difficult to explain the situation any other way. If it turns out that this video does indeed show a poltergeist, then the man may have been incredibly lucky. After all, it seemingly chose only to manipulate the items on the shelf while leaving the unaware shopper to continue about his day. Yeah. 
YouTuber Sylvia C is no stranger to paranormal activity. With many unusual events occurring in her kitchen, this video confirms what many often suggest, that the kitchen can be a dangerous place to be confronted by the supernatural. As the video begins, all seems normal. However, the peace and quiet is soon interrupted. Cutlery's moving. As you can see, a piece of cutlery begins to swing back and forth all on its own. Cutlery's moving. As the camera holder moves in for a closer inspection, it falls forward onto the countertop. Soon after, several more pieces are disturbed, almost as if violently knocked from their stand by some sort of unseen force. Then, just as everything seems to settle once again, a knife flies from a block and lands on the kitchen floor. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Luckily, the camera holder is standing far enough away from the dangerous object, which could have caused a serious injury. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> The woman then asks the unseen entity if it needs her help in some way, and if so, to move something as a sign. Uh, do you want my help? Please move something if you want my help. No sooner have the words left her mouth that a pot on the stove begins to turn. Uh, do you want my help? Please move something if you want my help. Many viewers have questioned the intentions of the potential poltergeist in this video. The sharp knife being thrown onto the floor is certainly suspicious. However, the fact that the entity appears to respond when the woman asks if it needs help suggests that it might simply be manipulating its surroundings in an effort to get the woman's attention. Uh, do you want my help? Please move something if you want my help. Could it be possible that this video actually shows evidence of a ghost reaching out to the living for help? Perhaps a trapped spirit unable to move on, or even a former resident of the house trying to communicate? Whatever the case may be, let's hope that this woman's able to figure out its message sooner rather than later. Uh, do you want my help? Please move something if you want my help. Most people probably have an idea of how they think they would react if they were to come face to face with a ghost. While many may see themselves acting brave in such a situation, the truth is that most would probably run in fear. In this video shared to YouTube by Maduka Narote, we get to see what a genuine reaction to something supernatural might look like. The footage, which appears to have been captured on a security camera, shows a room with a desk and two chairs opposite it. A man sits behind the desk using his phone as two other men enter the room from the front door. The three of the men begin to speak before one of the men leaves. The two remaining men continue to talk for several more seconds, until something eerie is captured on camera. Take a look. Startled, the pair look at the chairs. However, they soon resume talking. Suddenly, the chairs move once again. This time, they're lifted into the air with enough force to slam into the door. Scared, the men scatter. One runs through the front door while the other opens a side entrance and flees into the darkness. Understandably, this video has been met with mixed opinions. Some feel that the clip's been staged, noting what appears to be some overacting. However, others in the comments section think it's actually a genuine response. Imagine how you might react to the same situation. Running for the nearest exit certainly seems like a logical thing to do, given the circumstances.
Surely no parent ever wants to witness something creepy occur around their child. Unfortunately, that seems to be what happened to YouTuber Original Bayless, as he was filming his toddler playing on the floor. In the video, we see a young child sitting in a living room with a mix of toys scattered behind them. The child's father explains that for the last five minutes, one of the toys has been moving by itself without explanation. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if you can see that, but that thing just keeps moving completely by itself. It continues to rotate in a circle. Doing its own thing there. Okay. At one point, the toy appears to hit a green ball, causing it to roll forwards. And nothing really around it. It's been doing it for about five minutes or so. The, green the general consensus from viewers is that the toy's movement is certainly creepy. However, some have wondered if the toy itself is motorized and has a rolling head. Kinda creepy. So what do you think? Is the uploader just playing funny buggers with us? Or is this genuinely something supernatural caught on film? Love to hear your opinions in the comments section below. And nothing really around it. It's been doing it for about five minutes or so. The green ball just moved. Most people visit the library in order to read or study in peace and quiet. In this video, however, there's anything but tranquility. In the footage, which appears to have been taken from a series of internal security cameras, you can see various areas of the library. One in particular picks up something rather unusual. Take a look. The eerie stillness is suddenly interrupted when one of the books at the table appears to levitate in mid-air. The book then opens up as if someone or something is attempting to read it. While there's little information available on this footage, all we can do is speculate about its authenticity. However, the original uploader has circled what appears to be a fan attached to the ceiling in the upper left corner of the video. If you look closely, you can see that it seems to be switched off, ruling out the possibility of it being somehow responsible for the book's movement. Still, even if the fan was working, it would do little to explain the book's seeming ability to hover in mid-air. Of course, a lot of people have pointed out that it could just be CGI. So what do you think? CGI hoax or genuine floating book? Let me know what you think down below. As is often the case, renovating a house can lead to some strange discoveries. Bizarre items in the attic or an old newspaper between the crawl space. However, discovering a dormant, potentially dangerous paranormal presence is probably not that common. Initially, YouTuber Rocky Mills thought that it was a squatter that might have been responsible for a series of mysterious incidences that occurred in a property he was renovating. Hello! In the video, he begins to explain what's been happening as he wanders around the house. And I think there's a squatter in this house. I think it's in here. When he reaches the basement, he points the camera down the stairs and calls out into the darkness. Hello? Receiving no response, he decides to move on. Hello? After another minute or so of searching, a door slowly begins to open. The man cautiously moves in for a closer look. However, there doesn't seem to be anyone or anything nearby. Suddenly, the door to the basement slams shut. The man immediately opens it and calls down the stairs one more time. Again, there's no response. Who is it? The light then begins to flicker. Spooked, the man drops the camera and runs from the building. 
All seems still and quiet until something rather chilling occurs. Take a look. The camera begins to spin wildly as a deep breathing sound can be heard in the background. It continues for several seconds before coming to a stop. The camera then remains motionless on the floor for another minute or two, then the man comes back to pick it up. Many viewers agree that the activity seen in this video appears to be genuine, and that the man made the right decision not to enter the basement. Could it be possible that the renovations disturbed some sort of supernatural entity that was lying dormant in this house's basement? Perhaps all this spirit wanted was to be left alone. Who is it? <laughs> While the favourite haunts of the supernatural seem to be old, decrepit or well lived in buildings, could it be possible that restaurants are also prone to paranormal sightings? That seems to be the case in this video uploaded to YouTube by Daily Pakistan Global, who captured the footage whilst eating at a restaurant named Broadway Pizza. The narrator explains that he and his friend had just come into the restaurant to grab some lunch, when they thought they saw one of the chairs move by itself. So we just came to Broadway for lunch and it's this... Thinking quickly, the YouTubers pulled out a camera and attempted to catch the potential poltergeist in action. Sure enough, after a few seconds, one of the chairs moves, as though being pulled by some sort of unseen force. The narrator and his friend react in shock and the clip abruptly ends. This chair literally moved a little. Viewers have several theories about this video. Some have suggested that it might be a promotional stunt cooked up by the restaurant's owners. Others are more confused and surprised by the footage and are not sure what to believe. Outlet in uh, Rashid Minas Road. This chair literally moved a little. Oh, Without further information, this clip can only remain open to interpretation. Does it show something supernatural, or could it be a clever plan to attract more paranormal enthusiasts to the restaurant? While videos of objects moving around or falling off tables for no obvious reason are certainly scary, when they contain a potential paranormal entity, they become a little more chilling. That may be just what occurs in this clip, uploaded to the YouTube channel DM Secret Facts. In the video, we see what looks to be a kitchen. In the foreground, there's a table and chairs. Suddenly, the ceiling light begins to flicker, illuminating the room with an eerie glow. Several objects fall from the table. and the lamp begins to bend. All is still until a menacing black figure suddenly appears at the table. The figure is only visible for a split second. However, if you pause the footage, you can see it in greater detail. Take a look. Shortly after, the figure reappears, this time in the kitchen. As before, its appearance is brief, and only those with a keen eye are likely to see it. A moment passes, then the door in the background begins to open and close, seemingly all on its own. While the initial movement of the objects on the table is difficult enough to explain, 
the sudden appearance of the dark, shadowy figure is even weirder. Though it's only visible for a split second, its presence evokes an uneasiness that only adds to an already creepy video. A video that seems to offer more questions than it answers. So what do you think the mysterious figure could be? A ghost? Shadow person perhaps? Or is it simply a glitch in the film? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. There's nothing creepier than taking a leisurely night stroll at a local park and seeing something that can't be explained. One Reddit user, STX Bark, shared two pictures that showed just that situation. Originally believed to have been taken in Mexico, before it was then proven that they were actually taken in Manchester, England, by Twitter user Iconic Autograph. In the first picture, taken at nighttime, viewers can see a tree. Perched high up is a dark, menacing figure with piercing wide eyes looking directly into the camera. Even stranger is the fact that the figure seems to be wearing some type of white hood over its head. In the second photo, the bizarre figure has moved slightly, seeming to grasp onto the tree as it continues to stare into the camera. The story behind the two pictures is somewhat complicated. The original poster claimed that these photos were taken in a mountain range in Mexico by a man who believed it to be a bruja or witch. In Mexican culture, brujas are known to cause trouble for those around them. Another idea was that the figure could be a Nahuel, or a human who has the ability to take on an animalistic shape. The user who stated the pictures were actually taken in Manchester received several suggestions about what it could actually be. Many believe that the figure could be some type of animal, perhaps a dog or small bear, but one has to wonder how a dog could climb a tree as suggested by the photo. Since there's yet to be a confirmation as to what or who this might be, the mystery remains open for all to contemplate. As always, I'll throw this out to you, the audience. What do you think that thing is? Let me know in the comment section below. Human photo bombers can be annoying slash hilarious depending on the circumstances, but what about ghostly photo bombers? This spooky interruption happened to Reddit user Big Revolution 4581 during a wedding party in Canada in 2018. In the photo, we can see two men sitting at a table posing for a picture. Just behind them stands a man, semi transparent, with short black hair, yellow eyes, and dark lips. The man looks right at the camera with a devilish grin. The photo is certainly creepy in its own right but it's the story behind the picture that adds to the scare factor. The original uploader of the image revealed that he had often received scratches on his skin at his house prior to this particular photo being taken, and felt strange burning sensations right before the scratches would appear. He's never been able to find the reason behind these strange injuries. No one remembers a person walking by when the photo was taken, so it does make it difficult to confirm whether the figure in the photo was just another party goer. Even creepier, the men claimed they were directly against the wall, so it would have been impossible for someone to be standing behind them. Could this spooky figure captured on film be the same one causing the scratches and burns to the unlucky original poster? Waverly Hills Sanatorium has the honour, or misfortune, depending on who you ask, of being one of the most haunted places in all of America. Originally opened in 1910 to house tuberculosis patients, the sanatorium is now open for haunted tours and paranormal investigations. One Reddit user, GhostGuy68, had the opportunity to see something extra ominous on a tour of the facility. It seems to prove why this place is so popular with fans of the paranormal. Viewers can see a black and white photo with a white post to the center right. To the left of the post stands the figure in question. Upon closer inspection, viewers of the picture can make out what seems to be a human-shaped ghost with a white head. 
The Reddit user who shared this image explained that he shot the photo with a regular digital camera with no flash. It wasn't until he lightened the photo up in editing that he saw the mysterious figure. So he denies that the figure could be the result of a flash or any other camera malfunction. He also believes that the figure seems to be a nurse carrying a clipboard or chart. As the sanitarium has a long history of employed nurses, this may well be a ghostly nurse of the past. The question then becomes if she has good intentions or not. Photos of young children are supposed to act as memories of cute moments in a child's life for family members to look back on. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case for Reddit user Lord Cancer's nephew. In one eerie photo, this young child was seen with something far from cute. Even worse, the photo itself has been the centre of many mysterious disappearances. In the image, we can see a young child crawling on the floor looking up at the camera. Above him and to the left, we see something that looks anything but normal. There's a black shape that may be a type of chair with a greyish looking purse hanging off of it. Extending from the chair is a white, ghostly long arm and what looks to be a hand floating directly above the child. Around the long arm seems to be other formations of white that resemble wisps of air. The child's uncle revealed that ever since this picture was taken, the photo has been found in various parts of the house, with no explanation as to why it had been moved. None of the other family members claimed to have ever touched it. As a solution to this terrifying problem, the family glued and taped the image to a photo album so it wouldn't disappear. Additionally, the uncle reported that one time when the child was younger, he had mentioned seeing grey shapes in a field where a plane had once crashed. Could this child be prone to paranormal figures and activity? And if so, could the figure in the photo cause other ghostly figures to want to show themselves to this child? Throughout the paranormal community, there have long been discussions about parallel universes with many believing that these other universes could be home to alternative versions of ourselves or others. Much of the time, people believe that figures of an ulterior universe come with bad or downright scary intentions. On Reddit, user WrightPercentage2310 offered a photo that may be an example of this happening right before our eyes. In the photo, we see the Reddit user to the left smiling and looking somewhere off frame. To the Reddit user's right is some glass, explained later to be the windshield of a pickup truck. Upon closer inspection we can see that, although this appears to be the same girl, the perspective is all wrong and she has a completely different facial expression. Instead of smiling, she looks angry with no smile whatsoever. Right Percentage 2310 explained that her brother took the photo as she was sitting on the passenger side of a pickup truck. When she first had the photos developed, she flipped through the collection and didn't take any notice of the difference in the reflection. In fact, years had passed before she noticed the bizarre perspective and unusual reflection. She offered the idea that it could simply be a case of double exposure. However, others are convinced this is a glimpse into a parallel universe. Give the photo another look and tell us if you think this could be an alternate version of the Reddit user or simply a camera trick. Let us know down below. Over the years, security cameras have caught many kinds of interesting sights, from insects on the lens to wandering children and even paranormal activity. Reddit user mshell2003 gave you as an example of the supernatural variety with the photos he shared to the site. In the first photo, we see the inside of a house. In the center of the photo sits a woman on a reclining chair. Right on top of her appears to be a lit up figure that looks to be a child. It doesn't seem that the woman is aware of the figure right in front of her. In the second picture, we see a porch outside of a house at nighttime. A woman stands on the porch to the lower right hand side of the photo. To the left of her looks to be a small white grey figure on the move, perhaps running towards the woman. 
Commentators of the photos have inquired about the history of the house, as they believe there may have been a strange or tragic event that transpired in the house's past that could be used to explain the bizarre happenings. The original poster isn't aware of any past weird happenings occurring at this residence, leaving this mystery completely open. The house owners can only hope that the potential supernatural beings don't have any sinister intentions up their sleeves. What do you think these two bizarre shots have captured? Let me know in the comments section below. There's sleep talking, sleepwalking, and then sleep bonding with ghosts. This is possibly what happened to Reddit user Additional Matter 745. After weeks of sitting up in her sleep, moving her arms around and mumbling to herself, her husband finally caught what could have been the cause of all the strangeness at night time. In the photo, we see the Reddit user sitting up in her bed, eyes closed with her arms out, presumably how she acts every night when her husband sees her. Directly above one of her hands rests a separate orange hand with a slender arm that doesn't seem to lead to any person. The orange hand just hovers by itself. Although it's somewhat of a horror movie cliche, the woman in the picture revealed that the photo was taken inside of her home on a Native American reservation in Minnesota. There have been stories of ghostly spirits or paranormal figures roaming indigenous reservations over the years. This is not the first time this woman has seen something abnormal appear in her bedroom, making her certain that this isn't a one-time event. Could this orange hand really belong to a spirit of the reservation? If it's trying to make contact with this woman in her sleep, what message is it hoping to convey? Without more info, this bizarre occurrence will have to remain a mystery. Reddit user Europe is my nation shows us another instance of a ghostly figure photobombing what was supposed to be just another nice photo. In this case, the photobomber looks to be none other than an old-fashioned soldier, proving neither annoying nor amusing, but downright terrifying. We see two individuals sitting on chairs outside in the dark. In the center right of the picture, we see a gray ghostly figure that resembles a human male. The figure looks to be wearing a type of old fashioned soldier's uniform, looking more specifically like a Confederate soldier. The ghostly soldier seems to be holding a musket in his arms and looks right into the camera. Some commentators originally believed that the figure was simply a bunch of branches wrapped around together from trees in the background. These users decided to enlarge the picture and zoom in on the so-called soldier, quickly changing their minds as to what it could be after getting a closer look. The shape of the figure is distinctly human, and the object he carries definitely resembles an old school musket. Could this soldier be paying a visit to an old battleground that he once died on? Love to hear your thoughts on this mysterious photo in the comments section below. Now, if you enjoy these longer episodes, then check out our previous compilations. There's one right there. Otherwise, you can binge on our giant paranormal playlists right here as well. Now leave us a comment down below which one of these clips you thought was the scariest or weirdest. We love getting your feedback. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.